NFL draft is 35 days away, and Detroit is now in the process of getting decked out for the occasion. It is the city unveiling this afternoon more than a dozen pieces of special artwork visitors will get to see throughout downtown and beyond. CBS Detroit's Andres Gutierrez is at the Huber Yard on the city's east side, where he spoke with the artists about the dual purpose of their eye catching creations. Get ready to see 20 colossal cleats hit the streets of Detroit. To get to paint something as unique as a, a giant shoe is something you don't get to do every day as an artist. These bright, bold pieces of artwork made for the NFL draft captured the good happening in the community. I wanted something to coincide with the draft as well as represent the kids who are, you know, working so hard to you know, turn their dreams into a reality. Each artist partnered with local nonprofits to incorporate their mission into the cleats design. Trey Isaac chose the Children's Center. They do a lot of work that I like to describe as helping kids turn their trauma into triumph. That's something that I had to do as a child when I found art at the age of 16 in order to come, uh, come up with ways to cope with the loss of my baby brother and my mother. Laura Medham did her cleat for the Girl Scouts of Southeast Michigan. One of my daughter's troop was one of them involved in it, so these handprints that you see on the cleat are from actual Girl Scouts. So. You know, it would be great if the girls could see themselves represented in this cleat and um, part of the community and this exciting event. The cleats will be displayed in and around downtown Detroit leading up to the draft and then auctioned off to benefit the nonprofits shortly after the three day event. You know, the reputation for Detroit for so long has been a city of, you know, uh, struggling and, but now we're thriving. And so to see this, you know, in order to create a high level of art, you have to be at a point where you're thriving on Detroit's east side. Andres Gutierrez, CBS News, Detroit.